sir <laughs> welcome back so now it's time to add image gallery to our project but before that let's add a navigation bar <laughs> okay so you can see uh, there's no navigation bar now but uh, for navigation bar let's visit uh, bootstrap and go to component and scroll down and you can see here's a nav bar click here and you can see uh, we are going to add this nav bar okay so let's grab it well uh, we don't need any all of this code okay so but let's take all of it and then modify it okay to fit our needs copy minimize it and come here and uh, here paste it okay so now save it Control S or just uh, save and take a live preview how it's look like now oh it's look like this okay so now we are going to customize it so for that let's customize it uh, first of all let's remove this uh, link okay remove this you can remove this also right so let me uh, remove this because I, I really don't need this okay so this is removed now and um, and let's remove all of this okay so now we can see how it's look like this is <laughs> so actually I want to uh, fix it at the very top and inverse well, let me show you uh, what I mean you can see this this part this part is really nice so let's make it inverse so by applying this never inverse copy it go to your code editor and go up and you can see here's the never default just select it and paste it it's never inverse now you can see okay and now fixed at very top so for that uh, you need to add a class that is never fixed top copy and paste it here and now you can see how it's look like wow okay so now it's look really awesome and here's the one very important thing now you can see uh, our CSS image filter is just like invisible now <laughs> okay so let's make it visible by adding body padding top okay so just minimize it and you can go to style and here paste it so you can see there's a body padding top 70 pixel actually this is a bootstrap recommended uh, padding okay so now you can see it's visible now this is image thumbnail okay so actually let's make a horizontal line and then add our galleries so for that this is actually really very easy right you can just come here and add HR it's mean horizontal line and now you can see there's a horizontal line going to be to added see it's added now let's uh, add our image gallery for that uh, let's visit uh, bootstrap and we are going to use a bootstrap grid system okay so for that let's click on CSS and go down and now you can see uh, there's a bootstrap grid system here this is okay so now you can see uh, that is for extra small devices that is less than 768 pixel small devices is greater than 768 pixel medium devices is greater than 992 pixel and large devices for greater than 1200 pixel okay so we are going to make use of this uh, bootstrap grid system to scaffold our image gallery okay so now you can see we can add a row and then add a columns so let's visit code editor and now let's add gallery here so make a class that is row okay and here we add our call that's md it's a uh, three okay for medium devices let's add uh, one for uh, large devices call this uh, lg3 okay and here call this sm-3 so we added a um, grid for uh, large devices uh, medium devices and small devices okay so this is going to work in both so here let's put a, a link that is a okay and HRF uh, is will be now blank okay and let's add a class uh, for image thumbnail okay so let, I'll show you what's I mean okay so image thumbnail and inside that let's add our image okay so image source will be as images 
okay and one dot jpeg and let's add a class for make it responsive it's bootstrap class which is going to make your image responsive so now you can see it's added okay so just save it and take a look how it's look like on uh, page wow show that this is <laughs> look like this okay so let's uh, copy all the things but first let me explain you what exactly that means okay so what if i just remove this image thumbnail just make it error and now you can see how it's look like this is bad right i mean i mean we need a uh, like thumbnail look okay so just add thumbnail and this is what it's gonna do and image response even uh, we are going to just uh, make it for uh, mobile devices or for tablet devices it will make a image responsive okay so let me show you what i mean when you just go here you can see now this is a uh, uh, mobile device but you can see now i'm going down and it is responsive okay so this is what image responsive do okay so let's add rows so you can see actually 12 grid system 12 column okay so this is three so we need three 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 four times okay this is only one time so like make it uh, three time more okay so now you can see uh, let's um, make it different two this one is three and this one is four <laughs> I just saved my time <laughs> okay so now you can see how it's look like and now boom this is looking so awesome right so let's make it another row okay let's copy it okay to save our time and paste it here so this is another one and let's change it for five six seven and eight actually we have eight images so I just made eight okay and actually I want to make it six and this is why let me show you why this is really gonna be a very cool okay this is a trick okay so just <laughs> make it and save it and now you can see if I just uh, go to here and now you can see it's look like same okay but if I just make it a little bit smaller and now you'll see boom <laughs> you saw that it's a Facebook look like I don't know I mean this there's a four uh, small small images and there are two is bigger so this is really looking very nice so that's why I made it okay so this is uh, your page and here's your image gallery is now added okay so let's back to our code editor and let's add a footer here for that uh, let's visit our code editor and uh, for type here footer okay and here in paragraph type copyright and make a copyright symbol you can see this symbol and your company name or maybe your name okay so this is here's my name and let's make it a uh, center okay uh, so like you already know that uh, there is a class available for that okay this class and that is a uh, text center okay and let's uh, add an horizontal line and now you can see how it's look like here and now you can see this is look like this okay so let's give us some margin uh, from top and bottom so for that let's visit our uh, style page and here in footer it says margin okay and I'm going to use actually a shorthand so it's 50 pixel top and bottom and zero left and right okay so now you can see I just save it and just you can see now let's look like so awesome <laughs> okay so here's your gallery and uh, you can just uh, refactor your code like you can see there's a spaces so I can refactor it just go and refactor it okay and even you can add a comments like here's a like row is ending okay so this is your image gallery and now let's go for the big job <laughs> actually that's pretty smart and awesome job okay so now we will take a look of CSS image filters okay so thank you so much and see you in the next module